Hi, my name is Alina Kaku. I'm a PhD student at the University of Cambridge and I'm a curatorial assistant here at Kettles Yard. I've put together the research space display, Jim Eden India, which charts the lifelong engagement of Jim Ede, the founder of Kettles Yard and the region of South Asia. One of the things I touched upon is Jim's queer relationship with artists and writers who were expats in India and the memories that he recalled of his own time in India in 1917 to 1919 when he was just 22 years old. One of the artists that he was really close to was William Congdon. Um, the pair had an incredibly romantic correspondence. They wrote love letters and poems. And they were both very interested in Indian philosophy and Indian spirituality, which brings in a kind of intersection between colonialism and orientalism and homosexuality, which is something that I try and explore. In 1954, Jim Mead advised Congdon to go and visit India. Um, Congdon went to see the Taj Mahal, he went to see the temples at Benares, and he also went to see the Rangamanath Swami temples in Sri Rangam in South India, which are depicted behind me. He took notes, he took photographs, he wrote back to Jim about his perceptions of the place, and he went back to his studio in Venice and painted frantically for two months. He then gave these two paintings to Jim. They've been in the Kettles Yard collection ever since. And they held so much importance to Jim because he wrote to Congdon in 1956 when Congdon was about to have a solo exhibition and was collecting works to be shown. Um, but he begged Congdon not to take this painting because he said, I associate India with you so much and why would I ever want to part from you?